Welcome to the Rare History Channel. 16 Unexpected Facts About Pablo Picasso That Will Shock You Pablo Picasso, a name synonymous with the 20th century art, pushed the boundaries of creativity and changed the course of art history with his extraordinary talent and innovative techniques. While his artistic prowess is renowned worldwide, there are still lesser-known facets of his life that paint an even more intriguing picture of the man behind the masterpieces. Here are 16 shocking and rare facts about Picasso. Fact number 1. The Epic Saga of Picasso's Name Pablo Picasso's name is a saga in itself. Born on October 25, 1881, Picasso's full name was a mammoth 23 words long, Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuceno María de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Martyr Patricio Clito Ruiz Picasso. The name, embedded in deep-rooted Spanish Catholic traditions, included references to numerous saints and relatives. However, the most striking part of this extensive nomenclature is Picasso's global recognition by his mother's maiden name, Picasso, which quite literally overshadows the other 22 elements of his name. Number 2. Picasso's Prodigy, Childhood Masterpieces Picasso's gift for art manifested itself incredibly early. His artistic journey began at the tender age of seven when he started learning figure drawing and oil painting under the guidance of his father, a traditional artist. His first painting, Le Picador, is a testament to his extraordinary talent even at such an early age. The artwork, completed when he was just nine, portrays a man on horseback participating in a bullfight. This early accomplishment is a stark reminder of Picasso's natural artistic ability. Number 3. The Smoky Breath of Life The world was almost robbed of Picasso's transformative artistic influence. Picasso's journey began precariously, he was initially presumed to be stillborn. However, destiny had a different plan. Picasso's uncle, a doctor named Don Salvador, intervened with an unusual resuscitation method. He blew cigar smoke into the baby's face, an unconventional technique that elicited a response from the infant Picasso and ultimately saved his life. This peculiar anecdote underscores the exceptional circumstances surrounding Picasso's life right from the start. Number 4. His first words as a youngster foreshadowed his future. While most youngsters' first words are mother or dada, Picasso was a genuine craftsman directly from the beginning. Picasso's mom said that his first word was piz, which is short for lapis, the Spanish word for pencil. It's no big surprise that his family begun his speciality instruction early. Number 5. Rebelling against the traditional education system. Picasso's entry into the prestigious Royal Academy of San Fernando in Madrid might have appeared as a stepping stone to a formal artistic education. However, Picasso found the conservative academic setting uninspiring and restrictive to his creativity. The orthodox teaching methods clashed with his innovative spirit, causing him to frequently skip classes and eventually abandon his formal education. Picasso's thirst for learning was instead quenched in the halls of the Prado Museum, where he spent countless hours immersing himself in the masterworks of revered artists such as Diego Velázquez and Francisco Goya. This rebellion against traditional education is a testament to Picasso's relentless pursuit of artistic freedom. Number 6. The Mood Swings of Picasso's Palette, The Blue and Rose Periods the years between 1901 and 1904 saw Picasso grappling with deep personal issues reflected in what is now famously known as his Blue Period. This phase is marked by monochromatic works rendered predominantly in melancholy shades of blue and blue-green. The paintings, steeped in themes of poverty, despair, and isolation, echo his emotional turmoil during this time. However, a profound shift occurred around 1905, heralding the Rose Period. The artwork from this phase, distinguished by warmer shades of orange and pink, exudes a sense of optimism and cheerfulness. This sudden transition in color palette mirrored a significant improvement in Picasso's emotional health, marking a drastic change in his artistic style. Number 7. Shattering Convention, The Birth of Cubism Picasso, in collaboration with French artist Georges Braque, 
revolutionized the art world in the early 20th century by introducing a novel style, Cubism. Eschewing traditional one-point perspective, they deconstructed their subjects into fragmented geometric forms, presenting them from multiple viewpoints. Despite the initial wave of criticism, this groundbreaking approach to representation ultimately transformed the landscape of modern art, securing their legacy as pioneers of avant-garde visual expression. Number 8. The Ballet Connection, Picasso's Affair with the Stage. In 1917, Picasso's artistic trajectory took an unexpected turn when he immersed himself in theater design, joining the Russian ballet on a tour to Italy. His artistic collaboration with the ballet led to an unexpected romantic entanglement, resulting in his marriage to dancer Olga Koplova. Although their marital bliss was short-lived, Picasso's theatrical engagement left an indelible mark on his portfolio. This period saw the creation of several exceptional artworks, significantly influenced by the elegant movements and dramatic themes of ballet and theater. Number 9. Guernica, Picasso's Powerful Anti-War Testament Responding to the catastrophic bombing of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War in 1937, Picasso created one of his most iconic and politically charged paintings, Guernica. This monumental monochromatic artwork, a dramatic departure from his earlier Cubist style, starkly illustrates the brutality of war. Guernica not only serves as Picasso's outcry against the violence of war but also as a poignant memorial for its victims. Its profound impact underscored Picasso's role as an artist who could wield his brush to articulate potent political statements. Number 10. Surviving Two World Wars Picasso lived through both world wars and the Spanish Civil War. Despite the political turmoil and personal tribulations, he continued to create art, becoming a symbol of artistic perseverance. His prolificacy, even in the face of such adversity, is a testament to his dedication to his craft. Number 11. Picasso had a strange encounter with a Nazi. During the German occupation of Paris in the Second World War, Picasso decided to remain in the city. His work did not match with the artistic expectations and style of the Nazis, which made it impossible for him to exhibit his art. Picasso had numerous encounters with the German secret police, the Gestapo. On one occasion, the Gestapo were searching Picasso's apartment and when looking at a photograph of Guernica a Nazi officer asked, did you do that, to which Picasso comically replied, no, you did. Number 12. Picasso was a ladies' man. Picasso had a famously complicated relationship with love, he was married two times and had children with three women. His first wife, Olga Koplova, died in 1955, but the pair had begun living separate lives some 20 years earlier. His second marriage came with Jacqueline Roque, a French woman who became his muse and wife for 11 years. All throughout his life, Picasso enjoyed the company of lovers who were very frequently his muses at the same time. Number 13. He is the world's most productive painter. With a lifelong that kept going more than 75 years, Picasso had a lot of time to make and make he did. Picasso didn't simply deliver work of art, he overflowed imagination and utilized each chance to create material. As indicated by the Guinness Book of World Records, he made 13,500 compositions and plans, 100,000 prints and etchings, 34,000 book representations, and 300 figures in pottery. No other craftsman has verged on being so productive during their lifetime. Number 14. Record-breaking artworks. Picasso's art continues to achieve record-breaking sums at auction. His 1955 painting Les Femmes d'Alger, version O, fetched a staggering $179.4 million at Christie's in May 2015, setting a world record for the highest price ever paid for a painting at auction. Number 15. He was once associated with taking the Mona Lisa. In 1911, when Picasso was 29 years of age, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa was taken from the Louvre. French artist Guillaume Apollinaire was gotten as a suspect and involved his companion Picasso, which prompted the craftsman being taken in to be interrogated. The two men were in the long run absolved. 
After two years it was found that an Italian Louvre representative, Vincenzo Perugia, took the artistic creation since he accepted that it had a place in an Italian gallery. Number 16. An inspirer of art and technology. In an unexpected intersection of art and technology, Picasso's abstract painting techniques inspired the development of the computer language, Picasso. Created by the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, this language was used to enhance visual graphics in 2D and 3D.